Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Black, Black Phillip Show. Black I am not Black, Black Phillip. That is <laughs> and that's what I believe women should stop wanting guys to tolerate them. You should want to know that we don't like you. Like, you should want to thirst for why we don't like you around, why you make us sick, and we're sitting there and we have to deal with you all day long. Do, do you want to be dealt with? Do you want empty power? You know what women's power is right now in this world? It's like um, tuna fish. If... If somebody took, <laughs> if somebody took all the sharks in the ocean, right, kidnapped them, pulled their teeth out, and then stuck them back in the ocean, right, and now the tuna are swimming around like, we run the ocean, right, tuna? And tuna like, yeah, we run the ocean because we tuna. Come on, tuna. Give me a tea, y'all. Give me a ooh, nah, because we run shit. And the sharks are like, they ain't got no clue, you know? And they think that they run the fucking ocean because the sharks are toothless. By the way, referring this to men, self-imposed toothlessness. We pull our own teeth out and swim around. And now tuna, here's what happens. Tuna starts swimming around, and now they're like, oh, this ocean stinks. There's nothing to do. There's nothing to do. The Safe. sharks are fucking, where's all the good sharks? Where are the sharks at? I don't know. I can't find me a good shark. You know why you're unhappy? Because tuna ain't supposed to run the ocean. <laughs> tuna gets fucked up because tuna's supposed to be running from sharks <laughs> with teeth. That's what we're here for, to chase you around with teeth. And you go, oh my, even though in real, you know, it, it, this analogy actually stinks. Because <laughs> actually, actually, sharks actually chase to kill you, motherfuckers. But let's just take that out the equation. Let's say sharks fuck tuna. <laughs> let's say sharks was fucking tuna. And then, you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You, you see where I'm trying to go with this. It's like there's a there's a hierarchy, man. It trickles down. It trickles down from general to lieutenant to blah 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 to whatever the fucking rank and file is. Women don't want to be the general, dude. When they're the general, they're unhappy. Cause women's happiness is based on a moment to moment thing. It's like, I, I how come you don't buy me flowers now, guy? Okay, who doesn't know how to guide a woman through like pure happiness, right? He goes, okay, now I'm going to buy her flowers. Now she gets flowers for a second, and then she goes. And women don't have that editing system that we do. We d Women don't edit themselves. They don't go, man, I just asked this guy to make me happy last month, and he tried to make me happy, and now, like, I want more. They don't have that. They don't have that thing where they're trying to rationalize their fucking greed. They just go, we don't go to the movies. Then you take her to the movies. We don't go sailing at fucking in fucking Hamptons or something. Well, we'll go sailing in the Hamptons. They, they're moment for moment. <clears throat> guys' happiness is very clearly drawn out. We know, see, guys live a life of emptiness that we, we want to fill with bullshit. Women want to fill their emptiness with meaningful shit. Like, you know, relationships, <laughs> knowledge, um, <laughs> spiritual fucking growth. Guys want to fucking play the hottest Madden. Madden 2007, <laughs> nigga. Let me tell you something. Going out, right, and finding a Wii system is fulfillment to a guy. Like, I found it. I don't even want to play Nintendo. I'm walking around. I'm a 360, nigga. <laughs> I'm walking around going, you got the Wii system? And if a nigga go, we got one left, I go, oh, shit. <laughs> And for that moment, my void was filled. I found a motherfucking way. Hey, nigga, I ain't going to be playing this goofy shit. I don't even like it. I don't want to exercise when I'm doing my motherfucking gaming. But I, if I find it, it's, it's a fulfillment for a minute. Men are trying to fill their voids on a, a, a superficial level. Mm. Women want growth. They, they feel this emptiness, and they don't know how to deal with it. That's where God, it has to trickle down to a woman. A guy's happiness has to trickle down to a woman so he can guide her to understand what happiness is. So, because my girl, when we first started trying to get into this threesome thing, she gets that woman thought, but what is that? I don't know. When we went to Brazil and yeah. messed around for the first second, I said, I said the, the girl, bachi, right? Bachi, bachi is, a, is the word smack for smack. 
So the girl's like, Bachi, to her, Bachi, Bachi. I said, sweetie, she wants you to slap in the face. <laughs> He's like, I can't slap another one in the face. That's just a <laughs> So I smacked the bow. Look it. She wants you to slap in the face. She's, so then she did a faggot smack. <laughs> like she pressed her hand against her cheek. <laughs> and the girl's like, ah. And my girl, but my girl's like, uh. By the end of the day, she had to learn. She was clogging bitches in the left eye by the end of the day. The girl's like, no, Bachi, you, but you boom, boom, to the, to the side. You know? <laughs> and because she has to be guided that it's going to be whatever she do, it's going to be okay. okay. It has to trickle down from you, fellas, because what's okay to us, far dominates what's okay to them they live in this world of it's inappropriate this ain't right you shouldn't talk like this you shouldn't be like this women live in this world of you shouldn't you understand what i'm saying guys live in the world of you should yeah. so that's our thing we have to constantly be trickling down you should sweetie here's the thing okay i i know in your mind threesomes is bad but you gotta understand here's here's the shark's world here's the tuna's world in the shark's world i innately do not want to be with you for the rest of my life. I'm sorry. Socially, I have to. I love you and I must be with you. Innately, on a nature level, we want different pussy. Understand that. Don't get mad at it. Don't get upset about it. Don't get like, this is bullshit. But you don't offer us anything off the bat that makes us want to be with you for the rest of your life. You're not taught how to be with a man for the rest of your life. You're taught how to force a guy to be in, in something with you by taking his teeth and making him go, all right, I guess this is what I'm supposed to do, and have guys stop finding what their happiness is. But I'm going to tell you, once men find their happiness, women are going to be happy. Once men learn how to control their own happiness, women are going to be happy. Because women's happiness, no one knows what the fuck it is. Women, again, like I said you in the beginning of the show, women are looking for a general that they feel comfortable fighting for. They're looking for a guy that they can believe in. That's what a woman really wants her job to be. They want their job. Women really want to have no job. They want to support a man that they believe in. That's what they want their job to really be. So she's found you, and she fucking... It's like this analogy I use. And I changed my shark analogy, uh, by the way. No tuna. No tuna. What happened to the bear? It's it's a shark analogy. Oh, right. no, okay. The bear's still there, but the shark thing. Uh, it's a hmm. lot of women because they feel like second-class citizens. They feel a little weaker. They feel a little... Um, they don't like loving you and feeling goofy. Like, I've done a magical exactly. thing and convinced my girl that I don't have to love her as much as she loves me. Uh, it doesn't make sense. For, you, can't you can't love at the same and time. you can't love the it's same way. It's impossible for me to love you exactly how you love me. So, But women want that to be the case. What? So what yeah. happens is, say you're a you're shark. Until it happens. You're great until it happens. Until, if you're a great white shark, a lot of women go, I don't like being the bitch shark. So they swim, and they, they instead of like hanging out with sharks... They go, and, and Carol is like this. Barracuda. She, you, are you in a relationship right now, Carol? No. Exactly. Carol wait, wants wait, to be. I'm dating. Exactly, dating, whatever the fuck that means. And and so whatever title you have, you know, you don't have a boyfriend. So what, what, what do you is, think about that, Drew, with your cute teeth? <laughs> <laughs> he does have nice teeth. So, so you got, you're a shark, right? You're a fucking shark swimming around, and you're a man, and here's the female shark. What happens is you have to convince a woman that she should be a female version of that animal, as opposed to uh, the 50-50 animal that she wants to be. So the fact that you're swimming around like, I'm eating motherfuckers. All right, bitch, come on. You eat what I hunt. You eat what I, what I hunt and get. We both eat. You swim behind me and my motherfucking back stream or whatever fuck that is. Whatever male sharks do, okay? Eventually female sharks go, I don't fuck this shit. I'm a shark too. But they're not a shark to anybody else except for penguins, penguins <laughs> seals, <laughs> fucking walruses that are afraid of them. So when you come up swimming with your teeth like, right, what happens is they go, the penguin goes, oh, here comes a shark. And what you do, instead of eating your food, you grab it and you go, you know I can kill you, right? You know I have power I'm over a, you, right? I'm date you, you know, But, but I'm going to let you live. <laughs> and I'm going to put you on my back and I'm going to let you be this penguin who gets to, that's why a lot of pretty women hunt 
for like funny looking dudes and fat dudes. That's why a lot of bitches catch up to me and they just lose because they look for fat motherfuckers that they you, can. You know, I'm not a small dude. I'm just you know I'm a big boy myself. You a fat you know. dude? You fat or you big? I'm big, you know, I'm 6'6", six, six, 300, you know. Six, I'm, you're uh, a big motherfucker. <laughs> so you're intimidating, and here's what they do. They look at you, right, and some little cutie pie thinks that she can control you with her cuteness because she's doing you a fucking favor. That's what a female exactly. shark does to her prey. And then she gets true. tired of swimming around with this fucking pussy-ass penguin. <laughs> so she, eat she goes back... <laughs> to the male shark with this newfound confidence that the penguins been giving her. And the male shark still goes, all right, where you been, bitch? Let's go back to what we're doing. <laughs> now, the only way that relationship can stay, su survive, is if the, if the woman shark submits to being a woman shark and says, okay, male shark, how do I be a shark? Because if you've been living your life, if you've been living your life, your whole life being a penguin chaser, you don't even have a fucking clue what it is to be a shark unless I teach you how to be one. Now, here's what this girl did. She left you because she was tired of being a bitch shark. She wants to leave. Right now, she's fucking a penguin. She's on Don't hiatus. you worry about she's it. On hiatus. She's with some seals. She is who, not. She's with a couple of fucking walruses, and she and she's like, she's partying, and all the penguins and walruses are going, go, go shark, go shark, go shark. But when she comes yeah. back to you, you go, all right, you finished, bitch? Now back to shark business. <laughs> Let me ask you a quick question, yeah. Kareth. Uh, how do you, please give me the principles yeah. of having a 50-50 relationship. I don't think it's always 50-50 at the same time. There you go. Contradiction again. I no, really love no, Kareth. no. <laughs> no, but you both have to give. It just has to, and that's what makes it 50-50. You alternate. Come on. How do you give? A, how do you give? Uh, how do you give a girl a fifty-fifty? Uh, how do you have a fifty-fifty relationship? You alternate. It's t it's effort. Everybody has to put in some effort. How for do you a relationship. alternate? So what happens Even. when one because gives? You know what? Somebody what? has a good day. Somebody has a bad day. So you're day. saying a relationship so is a like a, it's like a seesaw. You give a little bit more. It's like a seesaw. Absolutely. No. It's yes, like it tug of, it's like tug of war. No, it's not. <laughs> It's in like, your world, if it's a fight, yeah. If it's a fight, it is a fight. fight. You know why? It's just like you, and you do very classic things like, why are you yelling? Why are you throwing pins? If that's what girls aggressive. do. You try to take, and this is the last bastion of madness, is our anger. Is our <sighs> physical imposingness. That's the passive aggressive. Uh, over women is the last thing mm. that they're trying to fucking take. Mm. Because they know if they can figure out a way to take the fact that we can punch them through a wall, they ah. would take and that the, uh, And that would be the final, b the final frontier is to take testosterone. The, uh, the we like testosterone. The bear, the bear salmon. Oh, that's scenario. The, the scenario. Yeah. It's just like it's like working in a in a in a. In Please, a it's like working in a uh, in a in a in a in a workplace. Mm -hmm. Business right? office. A business office, right? Mm -hmm. And men working with women is is just like bear working with salmon dipped in honey. <laughs> and the salmon comes in and starts talking to the bear about all kind of stupid shit. Hello, bear. Hello, Jim the bear. And he's like, I just want to eat this bitch. But the fact is, oh, I want to eat this fish. <laughs> mm, fucking fish. And every day, I'm, I'm going against my entire nature, nature of, of just like we're working together now, and I'm like, mm, pull your titties out. <laughs> but that's... It's like because of the dynamic, you can go, you're a fucking asshole, but you don't work for me, so there's no power move, so get out. But <laughs> but at work, a guy wants to do, if you came to work with those titties, right, I can't. I'm not even wearing a seductive top. I'm, I'm wearing a, a towel net. There you big go. lavender it's all, it's titties. It's all about you, right? If, if I fucking, if you come to work with those tits, right? Yes. And and I and and you're a sa you you're a salmon dipped in honey right now. Okay. So I'm sitting there like fuck, and you're telling me shit, and you're you're not asking me shit. You're not get you're telling me shit. You're like, hey, this is what I like. This is what I'm gonna do. This is blah 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 and blah. And then one day, I go, you know. <laughs> That honey looks good. <laughs> and you go, oh my god, god. <laughs> oh my god, you're harassing me. Oh, you're oh doing me right, right, right. Oh my god, I'm gonna write you up and talk to the fucking supervisor. <laughs> oh. I can't stand it anymore. Wah. And it's an unfair thing that you're doing Keep to us. Keep your bear claws off my fin. Keep your fucking honey out of my face, bitch. Work in the basement. <laughs> I don't think women and men should work together. 
I agree. They should have. Leave I think Gail they alone. don't. They should not work together because I don't get to say, "Hey, you got nice titties." That's my dynamic. Why do you it's, get the it's, fucking it's, it's not unleash? Oh, really? Yo. Fine, say it at a fucking club and get slapped, but you wouldn't say that in the workplace. Why? Why? Because it's unprofessional. Did, I did you hear how she I has? Would, no, I would you hear how women nice have no jackets. reasoning. That is why? reason. Why are you calling that no reasoning? I just said unprofessional. That is unprof- a reason. No, that's not a reason. No, that's a social. That a reason? What does that mean? What does that mean? Unprofessional means uncalled for, uncouth. It's not. How do I know? You. How do I know that? Hey, listen. That's are you a virgin? Wait, exactly. are you a virgin? No, I'm not. Do you give up pussy from time to time? Yes, I do. How the fuck am I supposed to know if at work maybe I got a chance for you to give because, me some so pussy? How do I fucking hours. know? Wait till after hours if you want to touch me. Are the you deal? out of your fucking mind? Because then that's even worse. What? Here's what guys got to do at work. Hey, I just was looking at you earlier. I've never worked I with thought, men. I thought that. So I don't know. I think that you should um come out for um. A lovely lunch. We're, we're going to go to, you know, Sporty Deluxe and have a hamburger <laughs> and blah, 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 it's blah, It's the blah. mating ritual, which you have to follow. It, you ain't got to follow. Do you hear? Do you? Carol, I'm so fucking happy you're here. This is the stupid shit that men hear all the time. Please stay you. Don't change, because this, this is how we get frustrated. They say shit that means nothing just to them. It's the dating All ritual. All the women what? who listen understand. Did that, you Ask what? What? Did you say quack? What? Quack? It's the dating ritual. <laughs> it's the dating ritual. What? <laughs> <laughs> you got to ask me out on a date. <laughs> Pussy is important, but it ain't special. I'll tell you that much. Yes, it ain't it special. Is. It's yes. important, though. Wait. Uh, if women don't want to be talked to that way, then why do they wear scandalous clothes like that in an office place where people are working? That's a heavy word, too. That's a word that, that causes pain. When you say scandalous, you know what that means? It means, like, it's unfair. It's unfair for you to pretend like you're not trying to be sexy, <sighs> right? Boo, you're not boo, You're boo. not boo, inviting boo, anything. You have to control your but, uh, Wait a minute, but I can't say, but you're flashing... You, do you know Am what? I okay, anything? wait a minute. Uh, what are titties? What are t- wait, wait, wait a minute. What are titties? Uh, do you would you say titties are a sexual tool to allure men? No, they're to feed children. Do you have kids? No. Why do then I know about you your titties? titties Why do I know you got big, <laughs> giant, <laughs> soggy tits? Why do I know with, that? What are you doing with those titties without because kids? You can see that I'm not wearing a fucking burka. That's why you know about them. That's really? So that you back. can stand up and say, I can do anything as a woman, but a guy goes, hey, baby, you know what? That anything you're doing is making my dick hard. Can I pull my dick out if I and jerk my dick? Can I dress my dick up? Can I come to work and a Little. fucking just a jock strap on <laughs> so you can see how big my balls are, but I don't chested. show them? If I was flat chested and wearing this top, you wouldn't be saying anything. This isn't of even course not. Nobody wants to see your little boy these chest. People, these people think that I'm wearing like some low cut shit and a halter top. She's I'm wearing, wearing I'm going to tell you what she's wearing. A lovely New York and Kent. Let me tell you something. You could be wearing <laughs> armor. If your titties were out, I'm jerking off to the armor. If you had titty armor, you ever see um cartoons Zena. and the bitch would put Xena and the bitch have a pair of titties to go to the You're like, damn, that bitch got an awesome iron titty. You want that shit. 